We back, we back. It's the Boxing Link and More. If you don't know, now you know. We do more than boxing. Usually do uh, shit from relationships to politics, basketball, football, whatever. What's popping? I usually able to get to that, but it's been a lot of boxing. And boxing been a, been dominating the headlines. But, um, yeah, the draft is coming up, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, do some draft talk the next couple of days. We're going to do some reactions to the draft as well. And the quarterbacks have been a big topic of discussion. Before we get to that, don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. You know, the links will be in the description. Except for Instagram, I just write my name in there because I can't get the link for Instagram because I'm not that, you know, versed at how Instagram works like that. I don't really fuck with it. But, yeah, talking about the quarterbacks this year, first-round quarterbacks, and I just think it's atrocious, man. Atrocious quarterbacks that's just getting bumped up because of the need of a quarterback. Um, you got Cleveland picking one, and if I'm Cleveland, um, you know I, I'm thinking about I'm trading down. I'm trading down. Um, they got Tyrod Taylor; he can hold the ship down for a minute. But um, I don't see any quarterback that's worth that first that first overall pick. I don't see a top fifteen quarterback. Sam Darnold is garbage. I mean, I don't know how they continue to put certain quarterbacks on pedestals. And, and dissect very, very hardly other quarterbacks like Lamar Jackson. You know, oh, he can't do this. Bill Polley, he should be a receiver, all that dumbass shit. But Sam Darnold is trash. He, his numbers don't compare to Lamar Jackson at all. You know, this motherfucker fumble, interception. And, they, oh, you know what? He didn't have a good offensive line or, you know, he didn't have this or that. Lamar Jackson ain't have shit at Louisville, really. They ain't have no, no great team at Louisville. They don't get blue chippers like that. UFC get blue chippers. You know, he had talent around him. You know, Sam Donald just garbage. He garbage. I don't know how he's even been considered for a first round draft pick. And then you got the Josh Allen guy. He garbage too. How the fuck is you at Wyoming University, excuse my French, and you haven't completed 60% of your passes at Wyoming? At Wyoming. You know, I'm pretty sure they the Cowboys play some bums, you know, you know, for you to, you know, chalk some stats up to at least to get to 60%. This motherfucker can't even throw 60%. And whatever conference Wyoming in. You know, but you tell him he going to come to the league and, and throw 60%. You know, he got a big arm. He's strong. But but obviously, he couldn't get it done at a lower level in college. And, and But you could say, I'm like, okay, he probably had the best receivers, this, that. I can understand that. You can see you going, we can coach him up and do this and do that. And I understand that. I understand where the potential for him is at, you know. I understand that. Like, he could be I, – I, I think he's the second-best quarterback there. I can see where people be like, you know what, I see the potential. You know, Josh Rosen, I think it's a 50-50 on him. I think he really, really good. You know, I think he really, really good. I think he can throw that thing, strong arm, bright kid, a little bit outspoken. He he not – he not a uh, – he not – how can I say it? You know, he not like-minded. You know, that's what they don't like about him. He's not like-minded. He not just gonna go with the flow. He gonna speak his mind. He wanna know who, what, when, where, why. And I think a lot of people get mad at him for that. He wants to know why. He has a, he has a, he want. He, he's intrigued by knowing why shit work. He just don't want to do it. You ask him to do it, that's not him. He said, "Why I gotta do it?" And they don't like people that's not like minded. That want to know why. That want to dig deeper. That want to investigate. And I like it. You know, I like it. You know, he's talking about his leadership skills. I mean, how many motherfuckers y'all draft that ain't had no leadership skills? You know, you, I mean, it's a lot of people in the NFL that don't have leadership skills. Matthew Stafford didn't have leadership skills coming to the Lions, but he developed into a leader. If you can play, the leadership is going gonna, to gonna, gonna come. They, people going to follow you. The team going to follow you if you can play. Real shit. They going to follow you. You will lead by example. You know, they talk about this guy's personality and, and this and that, but Baker Mayfield out here, you know, doing what the fuck knows, getting drunk and doing this Johnny Manziel shit. And homie, he ain't that good neither. That Georgia game, that motherfucker went down the motherfucking pipe. He went to hide and after he had a high start. He's short. He was a walk-on. He don't have the greatest arm. You know, he ain't that mobile. He ain't mobile like Johnny Manziel to make something on his on his feet, on his feet. He not gonna be a great mobile quarterback. He not a Drew Brees. Name me the last Oklahoma quarterback that ever did something. I mean, shit, he couldn't even start at Texas Tech. You know, he couldn't start there. Over Mahomes, and there was another guy that was there that got drafted by the, he was from, he went to Cal. 
I think he ended up got drafted by the Giants or something. He couldn't even start over them. And they talking about the Cleveland Browns are talking talking about taking Bay, Baker Fay, Mayfield number one. Dumb as the days of Islam. But you motherfuckers didn't take Carson Wentz number one. You motherfuckers didn't take Deshaun Watson number one. If they don't trade that pick or go take Saquon Barkley, they some motherfucking fools. Because all these quarterbacks, I don't know, man. Lamar Jackson, he pretty good, but will, will they do a Jeff Fisher with Lamar Jackson? And when I mean like this, I don't mean like Vince Young. I mean a simple fact. Will they, uh, you know, try to force a square peg into a round hole? You know, like he did with Jared Goff. It was my way or the highway. Sean McVay came in with the Rams. He molded. He he built the offense around Jared Goff's strengths. So with Lamar Jackson, you're going to have to build the, your offense around what he does well. And Carolina did it with Cam Newton. The Houston did it with Deshaun Watson. Tennessee did it with Marcus Mariota. I mean, the list goes on and on. You know, with these old school type coaches, it's my way or the highway. Instead of, you know, versing their offense to be flexible and work for the quarterback. And that's where a lot of these quarterbacks going to get in trouble at. You know, they're going to get in trouble because a lot of these coaches is my way or the highway. Like Hugh Jackson is my way or the highway. You got to be able to be, you got to be flexible and adjust. All these quarterbacks are not going to fit, you know, especially Baker Mayfield. They think he good. I'm telling you, I don't understand why these guys can pay all this money not to know this dude is not that good. You can see it. You can potentially get you fired, man. He don't have no talent. I'm trying to tell you guys. Oh, he accurate, this and that. Yeah, the motherfucker was playing in the Big 12. The Big 12 don't know shit about defense. He had a good game versus Ohio State. I give him that. But so did Iowa. Didn't Iowa hang like 60 on Ohio State this year? No, when he played Georgia, yeah, he got a high start. But ain't how you always start. It's how you finish. He didn't finish like shit. That motherfucker went into hiding. If it wasn't for that running back, Oklahoma would have got popped. Sam Darnold, trash all year. You know, the Allen kid. I mean, shit. He couldn't complete 60% in Wyoming. Lamar Jackson consistently put up numbers better than the Heisman year. But will he translate to a pro style? Josh Rosen? Who knows? But I think Josh Rosen is the best quarterback, you know, right now. Some of these guys could develop. You just never know. But I don't like any of them but Rosen and Jackson. And um, and even them, they, they're a little bit iffy. We're going to bring some more draft talk uh, for my NFL heads. Man, we two days away. It's the Boston Clinic and more. Y'all know we do. We do just sports and politics and real talk overall. We gone.